G'day everyone, Chris and Krause from Primax Sport. Welcome to our uh, preview of round six of the NRL. Been a cracking opening five rounds. There's been some really interesting results, especially last week, a couple of upsets, sides in their first wins, the Knights and the Roosters there. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone noticed, uh, might have been tipped by one of us on the show last week. Yeah, I believe. But it's good to see the cream rise into the top. I, uh, I think a few of the sides that we thought were gonna finish up there have really starting to rise up, starting to show their form. A few of the sides that we said were gonna be down the bottom have gone down to the bottom, so it's really starting to um, taper out now. Yeah, definitely starting to see a few sides find their true form lines. I mean, uh, still plenty obviously to go, plenty of water to go under the bridge, and you know, we've got an origin series and stuff ahead of us, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how they pan out from here and whether those sides really hold their form lines. Certainly those uh, Queensland sides all performing really well so far. Yeah, definitely. Certainly being the benchmark, uh, Broncos and North Queensland, um, but the Sharks and the Eels, I think they're really starting to hit their form. Um, you know, starting to uh, work out amongst each other with their uh, new combinations, and I think it's really starting to gel. Yeah, definitely, um, and I think, you know, obviously a great work at 40 ahead of us, so let's get into it. Definitely. Thursday night, 7.50 p.m. Eastern Time, the Manly Seagulls host the Parramatta Eels at Brookvale Oval. Both sides line up in the same 17 as they did in the previous round. All right, these two old foes, for want of a better term, two uh, solid Sydney sides, mainly starting to find their form even without Daly Cherry Evans last week. Yeah, it seems like they're playing better without Daly Cherry Evans, so I, I don't know what's going on there, but um, they're really starting to uh, lift uh, a few of their smaller players. Um, Apsau's playing some good football. Can I say, yeah, definitely, definitely playing really well at halfback. I think he started to have that leadership role. And Dylan Walker was a bit quiet last week for mine. Uh, it'll be interesting to see this week uh, how much of a cold child Kieran Foran's welcome back to Brookvale with. Uh, yeah. yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Foran goes. I think he's really starting to get a good combination going with uh, Corey Norman there. They certainly are, and the return of Nathan Peets last week certainly helped them too. I think I think that spine of Gordon, Norman, Foran, Peets is a solid one. Yep. You've got some really solid other big, uh, other big players there with Maroa, Jennings, Red Rider. They've really got some, you know, they're making a, a strong side, and they're starting to show that sitting, sitting in the top four now and really pushing their case. Uh, the attacking form last week, the flair they showed is probably the best I've seen at Parramatta since Jared Hayne was there. Um, and even then it was only really a one, two men show when someone would get on, on the Hayne train with him and go. Exactly, and I, I still think a few of them have a, a bit extra to rise um, for the Eels in the backs there. So I think there's still another step they can go. So um, really uh, ominous looking for a few of the teams that are facing them in the weeks to come. Um, I, I think the Eels will be a little bit too strong this week. Um, I think. Even at Brookvale, where they don't have the best record, um, I just think the Manly side's just lacking that little bit in the halves, um, and their edges are just aren't going to be able to hold out uh, the likes of um, Jennings and um, and Rodriva. So yeah, I think we'll have the Eels one to twelve for myself. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the Eels are going to be a little bit too strong here. I think while Coruscant showed some real strength last week, I really think he maxed out. And it was against a Warriors side that wasn't really at their best. Um, and they didn't exactly hammer them. Yes, they were, it was, wasn't overly in doubt for the late parts of the game, but I just think the Eels are going to be too strong here with what they're going to offer, and it'll just continue to build. So I've got the Eels 1-12 as well. Definitely. Friday night, the North Queensland Cowboys hosting the South Sydney Rabbitohs at 1300 Smile Stadium. The Cowboys have no changes from last week's squad, while the Rabbitohs welcome in Adam Reynolds and Dave Tyrrell. Damian Cook moving to 18th man, and Cody Walker dropping down to New South Wales Cup. All right, so uh, Rabbits versus Cowboys up there at Townsville. Um, Rabbits will be welcoming back Adam Reynolds after a bit of a layoff with so a begin. with a uh, glass draw. So it'll be good to see how he goes. Is he going to be able to offer enough for the Rabbitohs, but um, for what they've been lacking over the last weeks, which has been their direction? Is, is he going to be able to come in and give them that I, direction? I, I, really, I really think they've battled. They've been playing a very up the middle sort of game, and as soon as as you will notice from a couple of their results, the Dragons match and the Roosters match, as soon as it gets a little bit wet, a little bit slippery, they really struggle to utilise that ball out a bit wider. I think he'll add to that. Whether he can completely remedy it's a whole other question. I don't think he's necessarily going to be able to. There is rain predicted for Townsville on Friday night. Uh, the Cowboys have shown, obviously, you know, being used to the humid conditions, first of all, that the wet doesn't seem to affect them too much. Uh, it, was, it was pretty wet uh, when they played the Roosters a couple of weeks ago and they put, you know, 40 odd points on them. So I just think the Cowboys will be pretty uh, strong here. Um, the return of Reynolds is obviously the big news of the match. But yeah, the Cowboys uh, edge players, your Coopers, your Lowe's, your Tamil I just think they're going to be too much punching around the edges of a big South pack that doesn't seem to have that much lateral movement in the wet. And big Sammy Burgess, uh, I've got to say I've been a little bit disappointed with the way he's played this year at the start of the year. Um, he has racked up the figures, he has done a lot of work. But that work just hasn't been to the uh, the high likelihood or the, the high strength of what he has done previously. You look at last week, he did a little bit of a sideways run, ran into the line soft, 
Dylan Napper pulled off the one of the hits of uh, the year so far. So yeah. I think he really needs to inject himself to start running with a bit more purpose. I, I think I think he's caught between a rock and a hard place at the moment, poor old Sammy. In that he's he was trying to go forward early on and found out he was on his own and the the, the grind up the middle wasn't quite working for them and that's you know come to show. Uh, and the fact is, he's now trying to you know do a bit of the ball playing stuff, which we know he has the ability to do, and he did a bit of that in rugby, playing on the edges in the centres and stuff. But I just think he's caught between a rock and a hard place. Hopefully, the return of Reynolds will Reynolds will square him up and get him going forward. Doing what you know, him, George, and Tom. Uh, let's be honest, they're just wrecking balls. That's what they're there for. There's no value in him going sideways, especially on a wet track. Uh, he doesn't have the agility to do that. So I really need him to straighten up. In saying that, I just think the Cowboys are going to be too good. I've been really impressed with what I've seen from them. even on the weekend when they sort of uh, didn't quite hit the ground running early on. They came back, got it done against Penrith, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a plus uh, 13 plus here to blow the blow out the Rabbitohs at home. I've done the same. Uh, 13 plus. Uh, they got a good record against South, won four of the last five, and that was through the really strong South era. So yeah, I think Cowboys have been too strong, too much attacking flare out wide, and they'll get the points through it. All right, thanks guys again for tuning in. Um, another great weekend of footy ahead of us. Some cracking matchups and some certainly intriguing ones with some interesting ins and outs and some possible late changes. Uh, as always, make sure to have a look at our website, www.primaxsports.com. Plenty of content on there for rugby league and other sports. Check out our YouTube channel as well, youtube.com forward slash Primax Sports. Don't forget to follow us on Snapchat as we chuck some content on there about the footy as well. And as always, give us a like and share on Facebook. If there is anything you'd like to see added or removed or any thoughts you have, you know, you think we're absolute lunatics on what we're tipping, then feel free to comment below. We're not going to take too much offence. Anything you've said to us is nothing worse than what gets dished around here. So, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Good luck on the punt this weekend and enjoy the footy. Cheers.